First question is for from PB for the soul. What are the best exercises to build mass in the quads? Yes, quads. We love building them quads. Uh, uh, quads the, one you're, the one you're not doing. Yeah, well, that's always a good answer, right? Yeah. It, whatever you used to, oftentimes changing it up will get your body to respond like it's a, like you did the first time you start working. Well, out. this reminds me of the, just the recent debate that we had on the show about the whole hip thrust and squat thing mm -hmm. and, you know, this back and forth of which one's technically better and you know, I would make the argument that if somebody squats all the time, uh, introducing hip thrust would be the best thing for the, the butt. If someone mm -hmm. always hip thrusts and never squats, I would say go do squats, yeah. and I bet you that will give you the greatest results. Yeah. Now, generally speaking, though, right? Generally speaking, if you're comparing all the lower body exercises, I really don't think there's anything that can compare to a back squat or a front squat mm -hmm. in terms of quad development. Now, I'll tell you just for myself personally and for my clients, but I'll speak for myself first. You know, I my, my legs, my upper legs respond quite – uh, quite well to exercise. The so one body part I have that I feel like uh, is you know a little bit genetically gifted. The rest of my body got to work really hard to get to respond. My legs just seem to grow, and I've gone through stints of not barbell squatting, but still doing lots of other exercises. Still doing lunges. Still doing um, you know leg presses and sissy squats and you know uh, hack squats and everything like that and keeping the volume high. And then I'll go back to doing squats and nothing, my quads just explode. There's just mm -hmm. nothing, my quads don't respond to anything uh, like barbell squats. Mm -hmm. Now, for my clients, uh, it was very same thing. Uh, barbell squats in comparison to anything else, they nobody saw results like they did with the squats. They just didn't. Absolutely not. I could make the case for um, Bulgarian split squats. I, I not, But here's the thing, though is I had already been squatting for a long time when I introduced Bulgarian split squats. Mm -hmm. So uh, you could argue my argument that I was just making. See, I like hearing your your um what you, your experience because you had said for a long time your legs were a hard body part to yes. develop. And, yes. And so I like to hear what worked for you. Yeah. Well, I mean, for sure. Uh, well, a couple of things, actually. Uh, getting to a deep, full range of motion, a squat was a big difference, too. So just squatting was great. I mean, that was obviously built some of the, the foundation of my legs, getting starting to do that. Because before that, I was the leg extension, leg press kid. Mm -hmm. Avoided squats like the plague. Um, then I started squatting consistently. Noticed my legs really start to develop. Then I got into like Bulgarian split squats. Really saw my legs blow up. Then I got into a place where I was working on my mobility and my deep squats. And I've never had to do less work to keep my legs the size they are mm -hmm. when I deep full range of motion squats develop my legs more than anything that I've done by themselves. And again, this is, you know, my experience. I still think though, that if we're who I'm talking to really matters. If mm -hmm. I'm talking to somebody who's like a, a, a fresh clean slate, you don't really train at all. Um, I, I would, I'm with you, Sal, I would make the case that, you know, squatting is probably the the quickest, best way that we can develop your core, your, just your le in total legs. I mean, I think too. Everything, hamstring, glute, yeah, quads. Ham I mean, I even feel, I told you guys that mm -hmm. when I started squatting really deep, I saw my calves come up. Of course. Mm -hmm. I, that blew my mind away. Especially at the bottom. Yeah. yeah. Because I was, I was starting to get into really deep, heavy squats, and I started to notice that my, I was getting some calf development from it and hamstring development from it. So I don't think anything is a bigger bang for your buck than just getting in. Uh, it affects the entire leg. Yeah, I can totally echo that. I think, uh, you know, in terms of like what specifically blew my quads up even more was when we would uh, actually elevate our heels and we did front squats, yeah. but it, we still kept it like it was all about keeping that heavy load. So if you started to work on it as a skill, a front squats, you know, challenging for a lot of people because they just don't do it, you know? And so that was something that you have to kind of work your way into then being able to add a substantial amount of load like you could in a back loaded squat for it to have those types of gains and results. Uh, but the majority of clients in general, like it was not hard to build their quads. In fact, they were more likely to be quad dominant than they were, uh, you know, to, to, to have more development in their glutes or right. hamstrings. Right. Now, there, there's camps and we have friends that are in, in these camps that hack squat is the best way to develop your quads. You mean for uh, in terms of machines? Okay. Just in general, yeah. that, that, that would get behind. They're really trying to isolate it that way. Yeah, 
because of because well, a hack squat mimics a squat or normal squat more than the leg press. That's for sure. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. If a leg press is a very short range of motion. Even if you do a deep leg press, it's a short range of motion in comparison. Yeah, and because of the lack of ankle mobility in most people, most people can't actually squat deep full range of motion, and so they can in a hack squat, mm -hmm. and so that's where I can get behind. Like I, I know our our good buddy. Uh, Coach Eugene Tao, like he's he definitely touts this a lot. Um, that the hack squat is better for leg development for most people, and where I can get behind that argument is that case is that most people can't do an ass to grass uh, barbell back squat, and so if that same person who can't can't break ninety degrees on their their barbell back squat could go to a hack squat and get all the way down mm -hmm. because of the way your feet are positioned relative to where your your back and hips are. Um, and it doesn't take very. You don't have to have any ankle mobility really to do a hack squat. No, your feet the, are in front of you. Yeah, all yeah. the way down to the floor. For that reason, it's it's a basically a squat with full range of motion. Yeah. So I would argue it's it's superior right there. Now, now for me, there was actually a period of time where I was having a lot of fun developing my legs, and I wanted to compare training styles. And I I went through a period where I did my this was my workout. It consisted of leg press, hack squat, leg extension, leg curls. And then I compared that to a period of time where I would just go and do 10 or, or 12 sets of just squats. The squats won. I, I did the same thing. They yeah. built my legs I more. Did the, I did the same thing. I did the same thing with deadlifts. I've talked about this about deadlifting mm -hmm. uh, for my back and not doing all the other you know, you know, know, top exercises that people say. And nothing did compare to it. That's why I think, we're, I think we're so adamant about pushing people in that direction yeah. that yeah. squatting and deadlifting are just- The big five. They know, are. It's, like, it's, consider them always. Yeah. It's just- they're, it, all things equal, right? Mobility is fine, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, level of training, all that. But and this is why these sometimes these questions are are hard to answer because it is nuanced. If you have a client who limits ankle mo or they have very poor ankle mobility, then you can make the case that some other exercise might be better. Or if you have a client who has actually got great form, but it's been they've been squatting for years and they've never done a Bulgarian split squat or they never yeah, do a hack squat. squat. Yeah. yeah, or assist. I mean, if you've never done some of these movements, then right away as a coach and a trainer, yeah. I'm going to, and they're saying to me, Adam, I want to keep developing my quads and I squat three times a week and I've been doing that for the last four years. And I go, How long have you, when was the last time you hack squatted or when's the last time you did a Bulgarian split squat? And they go, Oh, I never do that. I'm going to go, Well, those exercises are going to build your quads more than anything else. Yeah, and I want to add one more thing, uh, all things being equal. And I love heavy lifting. Everybody knows that, right? If I'm, if I, I have a tendency to go five, five reps or lower uh, when I'm working out, just have a lot of fun doing it. But I'll tell you, when I do sets of twelve or fifteen reps in the squat, and I'm consistent, blows my legs up. The muscles just just explode. I get a lot of hypertrophy from that relatively high rep range. Well, this is the Stan Efferding camp, which I love that he he talks mm -hmm. about the twenties. Yes, you know, and that, to me, that's just because of the novelty of it. Probably because most people, even if you are a, a regular squatter. Very few people like to squat 12, 15 reps. No. I, I don't know very many people that are you good. Need a, you need, I need personally a couple hours of nothing afterwards. Most people that are the most people drawn to squatting and that are good squatters, they like to squat because they like to increase the weight mm -hmm. and yeah. get stronger and stronger and stronger. And that doesn't play very well into 15, 20 reps. But for, for gains, for, for hypertrophy, for building your mm -hmm. legs, building your quads, if you've never done 20s, if you've never gone and front squatted 20 or done a back barbell back squat for 20. Oh, have fun with that. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, you're going to have to reduce the weight significantly, but your legs will blow up totally. from that.